Hey friends, this is Latif Hope here. Well and welcome to the new update on Keeper or KP3R. As in my last video, which I shared with you almost a week ago, I told you that uh, Keeper is moving inside a down channel and soon we can expect a breakout from this channel. But still, it is moving inside this channel uh, since after 26th of March and not able to break out this resistance. And in today's video, we will once again take a look whether is there any possibility that Keeper will break out this resistance of the channel soon or not. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also support me here at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I shared. So let's start the analysis and first of all, uh, let me just show you this very big harmonic bullish reversal guard day move that uh, Keeper has formed on the weekly time frame chart. And I shared uh, this pattern with my members at the Patreon on 11th of March when the price line was moving very close to the very end of the buying zone. And our sell targets, by the way, are from $1,176 and goes to $1,764. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price line had a short rally, but still moving inside this down channel at the very end of the down, uh, sorry, <laughs> this scarlet move. And uh, we are at the very end of the scarlet move. And now if we take a look at the live weekly time frame chart, and this pattern was also formed on the weekly time frame, then we can see that during this short move that we had here, uh, the keeper broke out the resistance of a very big uh, falling wedge pattern on this weekly time frame. But after this short rally, the price line is rejected by this very strong resistance that we have at $570. And we can see that on this weekly time frame, we have a rejection here, we have a rejection here. And previously, we uh, uh, used this level as a support on this, on this candlestick. And we were also bounced by this candlestick on this candlestick. And at that, at that time, it was working as a support. And before that here, in the month of September 2021, uh, this $570 was working as a resistance. And back here in December 2020, it was rejected by this resistance as well. Therefore, again, after such a big breakout uh, from such a very big uh, falling wedge pattern, it is once again rejected by this $570 resistance level and drop in a very strong support zone and as in my last video i told you that we have a very strong support zone from 350 dollars and it is up to 300 dollar and previously whenever we were entering in this support zone like for example uh back here in december 2020 when we entered in this uh, in this support zone we had a long spike but we recovered back and we had a nice rally and once it was broken down, then again, when the price line entered here, it was rejected by this support uh, resistance zone and moved down again. And once it was broken out one uh, here, then it was breaking as a nice support. You can see when we had a drop inside this support zone, we, ha we had a very nice accumulation and a very big rally, very big bullish candlestick here. And again, we tested the support zone here. And right now we are again testing this base of the support zone that is $300 and right now you can see we are moving at $310 therefore we can expect that once again we uh, we can have a powerful bullish reversal move from here and if we take a look at the oscillator then on the weekly time frame stochastic is oversold and it has given bull cross and previously we received this cross and we had a short rally once again uh, we have received another cross and this can be also a double bottom formation as well you can see we drop here we moved up and again we drop here and this time if we will uh, move up then it can be a very big move because we have already broken out a very very big falling wedge pattern as well and the price line is also moving inside a very big uh, bullish potential zone as well now let's take a look at this down channel on this four hourly time frame we have a very very long down channel since 26th of march and so far we are moving inside this down channel but not breaking it out but for example if we will break out this down channel then the target will be here at the top of the channel that will be approximately 615 dollars and in that situation 
uh, we can also break out this resistance of $570 and we can also achieve the target of this bigger falling wedge pattern that is uh, here at the top of the wedge approximately at uh, $1920. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more ideas, you can also support me here at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.